All right, I've seen a lot of people talking about rice, brown rice, white rice, one's healthy, one's not. You know, they're both healthy, both unhealthy. You know, it's full of starch. No, it's a food that, for instance, Asians have been eating for centuries and they don't have a lot of health disease or they don't have, uh, you know, they live a long time and so on and so forth. So what do we know about rice? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through some of the literature on the rice. At the end, I'm gonna give you my sort of sort of take on this. So stick around to the end so we can go through that. So if you guys don't know, my name is Dr. Sean Baker. And I'm going to talk about some rice a little bit. So according to the FAO, uh, Food and, and Nutrition Division, in 2020, rice provides 20% of the world's caloric intake. So that's a lot of people eating a lot of rice, right? So there's a 2020 study in diabetes care that looked at 132,000 people in 21 countries. And what they concluded at higher consumption of white rice was associated with an increased risk of incident diabetes. Again, higher amounts. Now, many of you hear that you may think that's okay, but maybe brown rice is okay. But well, let's look at this study in 2021, the study in the Journal of Cardiovascular and Metabolic Disorders looked at this exact issue comparing brown rice and white rice and blood sugar control and metabolic disease. They reviewed seven different trials, which were from six to 16 weeks in length. And what they found out, there was no difference in waist circumference, no difference in systolic or diastolic blood pressure, no difference in effect on glycemic control or A1C or fasting blood glucose. The risk of metabolic disease from this high pure starch substance was equal whether it was brown rice or white rice. There's a 2019 paper in the Journal of Environment International that found that rice was frequently high in arsenic, which is a toxic element which has been associated with being causative for diabetes. One of the biggest reviews ever done was published in Heart Asia in 2017 when the researchers looked at 18 studies and seven 777,000 individuals. They found again that white rice was associated with significantly higher incidence of metabolic syndrome, though they did not find it associated with diabetes in that particular study. Since we know that metabolic syndrome eventually leads to diabetes, perhaps the length of the studies were what was limiting that. Of course, despite all this, in the August 2022 newsletter, Think Rice, a publication of the rice industry, says all types of nutritious food like U.S. grown white rice can fit into a healthy meal pattern to manage diabetes or reduce the risk of developing it. Okay, so one last look at the Japanese. Remember, these are the super healthy people that eat a lot of rice. Well, a 2010 article in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that elevated intake of white rice is associated with increased risk of type 2 diabetes in Japanese women in this time. And for you guys who know sumo wrestlers, you know, these guys are these big, <laughs> big guys, right? These 400, 500 pound uh, guys, what do they do to get all that extra weight they often consume just lots and lots of rice. And so, you know, what we see is, you know, this, this association with people in Asia eating a lot of rice and not, not historically having a lot of uh, disease and, and traditional reasonable amounts of longevity. One thing I'll, I will say is that calorically, they tend to under eat, you know, compared to the West, right? So they, and they, and they eat a very few, small amount of calories and they're not eating just gorging on rice. It's a, it's a, it's a part of the meal, but it's not you know, a significant number of calories that they're getting from that. You know, as we know, uh, in many cases, it's very easy to overconsume carbohydrates. And part of that issue with diabetes may be just the ease of which is overconsumed. And certainly we know that people that eat a lot of rice have higher rates of diabetes. And so again, if you are an athlete or someone who's metabolically healthy and you want to include a little bit of rice in your diet, many people will be able to tolerate that. But if you're, if you are overweight, obese, pre-diabetic, diabetic, hyperinsulinemic, or dealing with other issues, this may be something you want to avoid or at least avoid until you no longer have those issues. All right. So again, rice, like, like most things, there's nuance involved, there's context involved. And I don't think because we can say that 20% of the world's calories are coming from rice that is therefore healthy for everybody. You know, on, on our side of the planet here on the Western half, you know, it's, it's wheat and corn. I mean, these are the staples that we consume lots of, and all of those also lead to metabolic disease when consumed in the quantities that we can now consume them. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Rice, does it work for you? Does it not work for you? Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.